All right, I guess Charlie gonna be back there making more faces again, like she did in the last video, unbeknownst <laughs> to me at the time. Um, anyhow, we are on our way to actually two 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 stop today. Drop her off at a best friend house. They're going to a snow days today, and I'm going to look at a house. They got a three bedroom house out in Concow for eighty five hundred pesos. As I mentioned, I'm looking for a place to live. Um, for a new place, and it's pretty cheap 8,500 pesos. There's no air conditioning in the house, but the owner said if we sign a lease, he'll put three of them in there, so that might work. We're taking a different route to Cone Cow, so I'm going to share the ride with you along the way just so you can see a small little town that well, two towns we're going to pass through. Um, that's right next to Medina. So, right now, we are. Slightly outside of the periphetical, which is the perimeter around the city. Um, there's, as you can see, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of neighborhoods being built out here, and manicured very well, very very pretty, and you got lots of options. So we're coming up near Cabo Norte, the uh, city of Temasón. This is the infamous uh, mall here. Check this out. They just added a big sports center on the right with indoor tennis courts, uh, other facilities and whatnot. But this is La Isla Mall. There's a Liverpool here as well, H&M. This is, this is a very big, gorgeous mall. And here's some outdoor tennis courts out here. There's a couple of skyrise, high rise buildings, apartment buildings over there, kind of hard to see, uh, which leads here to this Cabo Norte Day um, neighborhood. And very, very pretty out here. Only issue with this area, and it's not really an issue, if it's not an issue for you, is you know, we use Rappi a lot to order stuff, to have stuff delivered to the house. So the, the further you're out you go, the less options you tend to have on the app in terms of delivery options. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a uh, universe, another school. They have a lot of those. So Timberzone Norte is a small town. Um, like I say, while they're building out a lot of new stuff, you got the quaint, tiny town which we're about to come into right now. And it's actually very pretty. Honestly, if they had them, if I found a house out here, I'd, I'd definitely consider this area myself. Because it's still close to the Petty Petty Go. This here's a church. And we're going to pass through another tiny town as we get closer into Concow. I think it's called, you know the name of that town that we normally get dropped off in? Yeah, Copley, how you say it? Chaplain Gallo. Something like that. Got all these bumps, so the car is kind of shaky there. Uh, slow food market. So, we didn't get to see much of that town. We went through that a little fast. But all these walls, houses behind them, um, apartments behind them. And you see all the green spaces out here. All the green space. There's so much development out here. Available, not development, so much uh, space for future development. Meta's just really getting started, y'all. It's so much green space. And when you go up on those high rise buildings, you just see how much 
just the land getting opened up out here. There's another community they're building here. Look that one up on the internet when you get a chance to see what's coming. That's going to be absolutely amazing when they build that up. So just look that name up that we just saw on the sign. But peaceful drive. A lot of folks say the internet ain't so stable in Tamasol. I don't know how accurate that is. A lot of this information is from two years ago that I've been hearing. I don't know if it's improved or not. So that's just something to look into. All right, I think we're coming up into Chabla Gal. You'll see the proper spelling in just a minute. It's a small, quaint little town, and I never see any rental signs out here. But look at them palm trees. We are in the tropics. They make us look at that fruit, 100% uh, natural, mango, piña, camarindo, sandia, limon, jablik dal. That's it right there. Uh, oh, oh, there. It's a little new in there. At the real estate office. Y'all see this car jacked up. It's a man. It was a man. Your car keeps shaking because it's Kim driving again. Oh, God. Stop. About to have whiplash up in here. All these Yeah. What'd you say, Charlie? Didn't have no bumps and humps back in the state. Still, the result was the same. You got these, see these little motor, I don't know what you call them, but that's the taxis. See that little, that was my kid, about five years old on that day. Mama probably sent them up to the corner store to get a, get three eggs. See, in these little towns, you walk to the little La Tienda, and if you just need three eggs, you come over here and get three eggs. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all probably looking at this and like, man, what is the beauty in this? But this is awesome. I know it's hard to believe, but it really is. You got your bakery there, your bread shop, your cake shop. It's a fresh tortillas, 100% corn tortillas. Very, very affordable. This is fat. This is where we come to get our meat from at the butcher. So you see folks out here selling stuff. This is old school town right here. Old school. Look at that. They did beautiful. Old school. And these little towns is what I like. Yeah, you come get some construction material right here. Up here, you come get some copies made. Yeah, you know, need to use the scanner, need to get some paper. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Lots of tiendas everywhere. Then where you gonna find that rent like two, three hundred dollars a month. Rough, 
road a little rough. And this town is right smack next to Oh Kyle. I guess you would call these the suburbs. Mom and Bill, small town suburbs in the, the deep, deep south. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope my microphone was picking up. Simple living out here. See that umbrella? Or later, that's how they protect themselves from that sun when they're out here walking. Not only do you see women out here walking with these umbrellas, you see grown men out here with these umbrellas. See, they they drive slow. They 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 who live in a little tiny house or snow up in them little tiny house. Good gracious, one well, million need bumps. I can drive better with one hand and holding the camera without all this commotion. So now we're going to be heading into Concow momentarily, coming in from another side. All right, so we're coming in to Concow. So as you can see, you, for the most part, going to need a car because not too much is walkable in this particular pocket. Now, Concow has a variety of pockets. It's really important that you need to come out here and see it. So on this side of Concow, there's a lot of new development and new houses going up, providers, and you will need a car for like in this spot. Oftentimes, with order Uber, it might take 30 minutes for them jokes to come out and they always cancel it. So you're going to need a car out here. So if you got a car, this is definitely a great option place to live, consider living, especially if you like living out in the burbs. And Concal is kind of self-contained. They got their own central, got their own markets. And in, in that town that we just passed by, like five minutes away, uh, they got their own butcher, got everything in there. You rarely ever really need to go to the Medida. People who live out here, they don't go in the Medida every day. They might go in there every now and again to get some things. Oh, no. Atrocious. But as you can see, they building solar panels everywhere on people's roofs. Joker had barbed wire fit for his stuff. Yeah, so a lot of space. A lot of space. Now, they have some beautiful subdivisions out here definitely worth taking out because it's quite honestly at the end of the day everybody's situation ain't a financial one so the quality of life you were living back in the states you got those options out here throughout Medida and they have some luxury high end subdivisions out here or providers they got everything you need on site like living almost like in a resort. So it's definitely worth exploring. And as you can see, you're going to need a cop because everything is spread out, spaced out. And Uber is in the DD. They're not out here in abundance. So you're going to be playing the waiting game. A couple of little plazas out here. That's new. But that's a good sign that at some point, Five, ten years out, you won't even recognize this place. It's going to be all developed out. We'll be coming up on 
a little more life in, in a moment. But you can see they putting up new plazas. This here's a o oasis residential community. And it's beautiful. It was very nice out here, honestly. On our way to go look at this house, we just dropped Charlie off at a friend house. So we're still in Concow. We're just driving to the other side of Concow. I'd say pretty, pretty sizable. I assume we're going. Look at that big old lizard. Oh, I wish I had my camera running. See that lizard in the street, Iguana. All righty, that is our guy. He just arrived, so we're gonna follow him. So you say, and yet it's shutting off five times a day. I ah, well, based on the picture, it didn't look like it was gonna look this nice. Maybe we go on. Maybe we share an entrance. <laughs> Come on, I saw the pictures. Hey, little yeah, okay, I thought so. When they going over there, we going over here. <laughs> That's too funny. I'm like I knew it didn't look like good. Got excited, didn't you? Nah, I wasn't excited. That's why I say I was prepared. I knew it wasn't looking like that. This ain't too bad. But this ain't shabby. Side. Let's see what's up. Ah, uh, so I'm sorry. I'm doing a voiceover. I forgot to turn my microphone on. But this is the outside of the neighborhood the building here. We're about to go on the inside and take a look here. We are in the living room area and stairs as usual. Most stairs don't have rails. This here is the dining room, the kitchen. That's a view of the living room again and the kitchen. Not a lot of space. Um, there's a lot of open space here. They don't have many places don't have cabinets simply because of the humidity, the heat tends to breed mold. So there's a lot of open space. And then this is just the storage room in the back and that is screened in and you can use it as a pantry or utility room. And there's going to be a stove that can be put there. Um, and again, that's the dining room leading out to the back. There is a bedroom on the main. We'll go in there momentarily. Uh, this is the back. As usual, they don't generally clean up or cut the grass until they got a contract on the place. And after which point, they will clean up the area and make it much more presentable prior to you moving in. So that's what we're looking at. The back, going back inside. And just going to show uh, from a different angle. Like I say, not a lot of space. Many times you can hire somebody to come in and put some cabinets up and add what you want to add. So just that. Going back into the pantry again, I'm just, I like to look at stuff a few times. Closet space. Everything is open. There's a lot of humidity here. So a lot of space is open. There's a bathroom that's shared with the two doors here. Shared with the Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
two bedrooms upstairs. One spot for hammocks. Three. One, two, three. Ceiling fan. Now, he said they will add three air conditioning units uh, if you sign a contract. So that's 8,500 pesos. It has its own bathroom, bedroom. Bedroom number two. Another bathroom. Bedroom is quite spacious. Bathroom is quite spacious. So it's not the biggest, but this is a quite a deal for 8,500 pesos, which is about $495. As you can see, though, across the way, those are newer homes over there with pools. Here's a small rooftop. You can get access to that from here through that door. Sunlight. Yeah, this. But I do like this. Uh, here to make the hood. Uh, iguana. Alrighty. All right, he's going to take us to see another one. I don't have my mic on. Got my phone charging up, so um, we're going to be out for a minute. So that house was not bad for 8,500 pesos. Probably get them down to about 7,500 pesos, uh, which might bring it down to about 450. And as I said, he's going to add some air, three air conditioning units to all of the bedrooms, three bedrooms in that house. So he's about to take us to another place. Um, in Cholul, which is next door to Pong Pile as well. So I'm, we're going to take you along that ride. The walking trail over there on the side. You can ride your bikes. You can walk over there. And I think I showed y'all some of this in the last video. And I'm talking louder because I don't have my microphone on and the air conditioning is kind of blowing loud. But out of that subdivision, when you walk out of, when you walk out, this is what you have access to. There's some terrace down here, Pollo Asado lady selling chicken on the corner. Little La Tienda right there. So, I don't got no cash. They drive a little slow out here in the country. You know what I mean? More development there, sign. <laughs> Ain't nobody in no rush out here. How we do in the deep, deep south. All right, so about to roll up in the Cholul. Momentarily. And Cholula a pretty fast growing area as well. A lot of the new development can be kind of expensive. So, but this house is taking us to, it's like 13,000 pesos. Which is about 500 pesos more than I'm paying now. And based on what he's saying, it sounds a lot larger than what I currently got. And I believe he said it had a service room, if I recall, in addition. So that's three bedrooms and a service room with his own bathroom. Service rooms is so if you hire a housekeeper or have a maid, uh, they will typically stay in there. Or that is their private room during the day if they only there during the day. Oh, there's a music school. Um, or live in 
that room or stay in that room if they stand in your property multiple days. So this is not the more developed side of the new development of Jalul. So I like this actually because you still have your access to your chicken folks, your taco folks at the school right there. Mas Grande. I like this better already. Yeah, it's more, it's more, it's more colorful. This is beautiful. And right around the corner from all that stuff. Is that gate electric? Yeah, it's electric. It is electric. And I got the fright raw. It's actually 16,000. Well, 17,000 pesos, so you think the owner can get down to 16,000 pesos. The S and Sace meal, which is, from the looks of it, look like that could be a deal. Yeah, much, mucho espacio. All uh, plenty of parking space, look at that. Lynn, this might be for you. Now they'll clean all this up prior to moving in. Yeah. I'll go check this out. Make sure my mic on. All right. That'd be nice if they had a pool. So. I don't know what this is, but I see another living room. I guess this is the dining room. Big yard. No pool. Oh, that's how they are. Above a They had little kids and didn't put a pool in. in the the little. A lot of space for sure. Right. It's storage space. Okay. Okay, this is storage space. Uh huh. Well. Okay. This is the service room. Ah, okay. Separate service room. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, uh, TV. Look at that. Obviously, when the guy comes to the right, they are going to get it all cleaned up. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, so it's been sitting empty for a while, but they'll get it clean. Um, 
I would add an air conditioning in here for my for my housekeeper, keep them comfortable. Um, service entrance there, area for laundry, I guess. So I, like I told you, that they don't clean until they get the contract. So that room has been sitting empty. The husband died and and all of that. So it's just been sitting. Plug for uh, no air conditioning down here. A lot of space. Pretend has got a washing dryer. And the oven has two racks. Unlike yeah. our stove. Okay. Oh, okay. Do they work? Yeah, they work. How long has this house been vacant? How long has it been? Yeah. Empty. Like, you know, no one here. I don't know what, maybe five months. All right, so it's been sitting for about five months, which is a good sign that you can make a deal. There's a bathroom downstairs. Okay, I, I got it straight. So bedroom downstairs. Ah, I can't believe there's no air conditioners in this house. At least not downstairs. Oh yes, there is one. All right, so this is like they turned it into a. I don't know if this is a bedroom. It might just be a study. Maybe this is where they watch TV instead of in the van. This could be the living room, la sala, and dining room. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that is the bedroom downstairs. There's two up here. They love these sofas up in here, don't they? All right, they do have an air conditioner. I'm trying to be conscious and go a little slower with the panning, the zooming and whatnot. Very spacious. This is probably about 30 feet from one wall to the other. They got shelving built into the wall. Bathroom. I don't even know if this is the master bedroom or not. Boy, that's, that's just one good looking. <sighs> Words can't even describe this fella here. Good God almighty, there's two of them right. Good Lord of my hunk of a man. All right, so closet space. Bathroom. Closed in shower. Plenty of space and a terrace. They do have a ceiling fan here. Let me look out this window. So this is looking out. So the bath. Another bedroom. Okay, so two bedrooms upstairs, the one downstairs. Ah, uh, they got a pool over there. Let me get to know they have to come in for you. 
Oh, they even got a little cage. Oh, oh, plenty of cabinet space, a bit closet yeah. space. So the other room doesn't have a closet. Yeah. 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 Yeah, quite spacious. Ah, uh, they got a pool over here too. Only thing, remember the last play we had, we had all that grass and weed. <clears throat> weed in the back. And we had all them bugs coming up into the house. <clears throat> they ain't seen no snake. I ain't worried about seeing one snake. <clears throat> But you know that's what you get when you live out in the country. Hopefully, they'll start building. But I wouldn't let that stop me. So this DSC says mill. <clears throat> I need to look that up. Um, probably about nine hundred and fifty dollars at today's exchange rate. All right, going back downstairs, and this is Cholul. <laughs> I just hate to spend this much and have to come in and put it in air conditioning. Not, uh, uh, not down here. And the way this is situated, you probably have to put one here and another in the dining room. There is an AC in that other bedroom. Maybe they leave this table. Oops. And it had a service room. So I mean for sixteen thousand pesos, if you can get it for that much, it's a good it's a good deal. So definitely a lot of space out here for the money. I've been to other places and it, this is this for the money, this is a great value. Pool would have set it off. All right, so that house was awesome. Uh, we're going to go look at one more in Chuberna. I do like this because it's very close to the town square. Uh, and all the shops are close by. He's going to stop by also to get something to drink. Um, so I, I like this. Now, that house has been vacant for five months. And they're asking 17,000 pesos. Um, had wash and dry in there. I'm gonna sip. I'm gonna 17,000. He said the last person offered 16. They accepted it, but by the time they had the answer back, they had the other the person had found something else. Now, look how close this is to, oh, yeah. to the yeah, little stores. Come get some uh music store. You come down here, get some corn tortillas. Um, the square is right down the street. There's a seafood spot right there. There's a little dress shop right there. La Tienda right there. Spot to come pick up cleaning supplies and garden supplies. So you got, and I like, see, and it's old. It, it, it's new, new house. Right beside, there's an optical shop we just passed by. Look at all of that. Oh, that's not even seven blocks. Oh, I can walk to land go saber. It's right there. It's right down the street. Look at all that fresh fruit right there, y'all. Look at that. 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 There's the park. That's the 
Town Square. I'm kind of all over the place with this camera. My apologies. From that house, yes, the Church of Cathedral. Yeah, so this is about you can walk from the house to this town square. This is Chalul, a few markets over here, boutiques, butteras, commissary, pharmacies, and here's the church. We just stopped to get something to drink. But all of this would be within walking distance and very close to the Periferico and can be in Alta Brisa Plaza in about, from here, probably about six minutes. Let's see if I get a shot of this cathedral. I don't know if you can see that all the way. Very beautiful area. All the fruits and vegetables you want. There's a sushi spot right there. Artesian food over there. Los Tres Caballeros. Babacoa. I don't know what that is. Coffee shop, breakfast spot right there. All right, so coming out of Cholula now, folks out here selling wares. So this is uh, in many ways to get into Cholula. Look at how good food right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Here where you come get your cleaning supplies. You don't go up in Walmart paying all that money for that stuff. Atrocious. Look at that. Three pieces for the price of two. Three for two. I don't know how much it costs. Nah, Dirty paint No, oh, solo. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be good for that price. Hmm. My good man. You better watch me. Alright, let's see if we go to jail. Look at all that stuff you get for your gardening. Alright, so you come out of here and you come down this stretch and that's gonna put you on the petty petty go take you to the petty petty go. My favorite restaurant, Benny Low, get right down the street, about, I guess, maybe three, four minutes from here. So that yard, that house that we just saw, we just saw sits on about 600 meters. You say 600 meters, 600 metric, I don't know, 600 something. The first house we saw was 94 meters. I think he said, how much did he say? 200. Not a fur one. 200. All right, 200 meters. No, 100 and, 
hundred and no, you said two hundred. No, the house we want to see now is oh. two hundred. Oh, okay. Taking it to a house that you burn is two hundred meters. The one we just saw was six hundred meters. So just to give you an example, uh six hundred meters, he said he can get it for sixteen thousand pesos. The house we're gonna look at now is two hundred meters and it's going for thirteen thousand pesos. Notice the difference. For 3,000 pesos more, you're getting three times more space. The 13,000 pesos is 200 meters. The 16,000 spot is 600 meters. And I think he said the first house we saw was, I want to say, 94 meters. That's what I think it was. Oh, okay. I might be wrong, but I think he said the space was 94. Um, and the spot we're going to see now is 200. And we did left 600 meters. That was a lot of space. Man, he went right in the street. Yeah, that was gone. You going to I'm there. Oh, I'm going to drive next time. Uh, so, I right, we already at the Petty Fetty Go. See that bridge up ahead at the Petty Fetty Go. You go across that bridge, you are going into Alta Brisa. So, that's how close you are. The universities over here. I believe now we are in the area called Santa, Santa Rita Cholul. Yep, Santa Rita Cholul. Let me follow him. He's here. No move. My restaurant is right behind this building here. I need to go in there and see what that is. That looked like a home store, like a home depot. That man, I never think that's what that is. Based on what I, I can barely see the stuff in the window, but they got ladders, ceiling fans. I see some uh, uh, equipment, like you, you know, for the house. Yeah, just look at the tools. I'm the tools. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking through the window. I'm about to come back up here. Casa Fernandez. Fernandez. Yeah. Screw it. I'm going to come back up here and check that out. I've been trying to figure out what is the Home Depot equivalent. So, don't lose. So, we fall in the guy. And so now we're in Alta Brisa. So, that's how close it is to Chulu. I only had the camera off about 45 seconds. So, this is where we're at now. There's plenty of videos about Alta Brisa, so I'm going to cut it from here. Once we get into Chuberna, um, I will pick up. But before I shut down, they're going to round about it. Uh, we got a Volkswagen dealership. The rookie moves around here. Volkswagen dealership, Audi dealership. Infinity dealership. Mazda dealership, Nissan dealership. And the Star Medical Hospital's up the street. Plaza Alta Grisa Mall. This is next to Alta Montebello. Close to Monte Cristo, Monte Carlo. Got some live karaoke popping off over yonder. There's Alta Brisa up here on the right. This plaza. Take that light. Sears still in business, full fledged, thriving in Mexico, shut down in the States. Office Max, we got Office Depot, that's the Star Medical Hospital, that tall white building over yonder. 
So I'm going to shut down. Y'all done seen this. I'm going to pick right back up when we get on the other side get my batteries to charge. Oh, the only downside about that other house we just walked out of, that big one, is a good deal. And it's not a downside. It don't have no air conditioning. It looks like they took it out of the, of the, of the living room. But you're probably going to need one in that kitchen, too. That's the thing. You you Because it's so separated. So that air ain't going to really circulate back through that kitchen. Um, unless you open up that bedroom down there and let the air through. But I was like, man, it don't got no air conditioning. He talking about, yo, you don't need no air conditioning. <laughs> and while he's sweating, sweat coming down his face. Oh, yeah, just open the door. I said, but the door is open. <laughs> I'm like, why are you up? Why are you behind sweat? Talking about we we don't need no air conditioning. <laughs> I'm living in a house right now where in my dining, in my living room there is no air conditioning. I have a portable unit, and that don't work too swift. And that's how does it work? And that and that's one reason why I'm trying to like crazy to find another place because I'm ready to get out of there. And I signed the lease on that place. I signed the lease in November. Well, December first, actually, like November thirtieth, almost two years ago. Well, eighteen months ago, um, twenty months ago, there was no. It was cold, so I'm sitting in there thinking, "Oh, this is quite comfortable. I don't need no air conditioning until summer came." You know what I mean? So I woman on on hit this dog on truck. Man, you dangerous. So, I don't need, I don't know about, but anyhow, the benefit is it's been sitting empty for five months, so I'm going to make a crazy offer on it. I, I, I hate to spend that much without a pool, uh, although I've been looking at places for other people in the $15,000 range, $15,000 pay for a range, and there's no pools. Um, not many places with pools in that price range, but definitely not that much space. Now I know what 600 meters look like. I can compare. I, I got an idea. Now I'm about to see what 200 meters look like, so I'll be able to look at some options. All right, so we're back in the city, in the center, well not center, inside of the perimeter, going into Chiburna. Which is a great area as well. Still got this is probably very comparable to what Centro would look like. Not well. This is probably look better than Centro. But Chiburna, I'm curious to see where they got this house situated. They have their own center. But I like Cholula's center better. We'll be coming up on the center soon. This is a little garden right here. A garden spot. I don't know. After coming out of that Cholula, I kind of like it out there in the country. Them suburbs. 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 And we were riding down to there. We saw a man out there had the camera running. Riding on a horse, had his horse just strolling down the strip on this pretty little horse. I ain't ever rode a horse before. <laughs> Look at this place here. Never noticed this. Oh, that's that. Oh, I've been over there. I ain't nothing no nothing. Enchiladas, that's my favorite drink. Until about looking at these houses, I don't went to go look at a house for 8,500 pesos. Now he done showed us that house for what could be 16,000 pesos and twice the amount.
now to how we want to look at it to burn a 13,000 page holes. So that's why you got to be careful at what you look at and look at your budget, look at your numbers. I got a bigger budget, but I want to pay less. You know what I mean? I want to, but I do want to pull. And why that house for the 16 look good? Man, I want a pool. If I can't get no pool, I don't know. Maybe she'll put one in there. I ain't trying to put one in there. It's my else's house. Uh, but, I don't know. I'm about a year out from doing my own thing, my own house and all, but it sure make living a lot more comfortable out here with this pool. Especially after this weather we done had. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, options, options, options. That's why don't go looking at no expensive houses because you start getting depressed. And Kim, I'm all oh, that first house for eighty five hundred is depressing, but I'm like, it was eighty five hundred pesos ain't depressing. It was a crapshoot. I ain't depressed for eighty five hundred pesos. Where did that dude take another? Shops right around the corner. This might not work. I don't see nothing around here. See, now see the difference. You come out here, there ain't nothing around. Now I'm about to ride up the street a little more just to verify that. He could be on the other, I could be going to the other side. But this is some of the things you want to be paying attention to. What is buying? The other one, I go down there and get me some chicken. I go to the Latienda and get me some candy and some sodas. I go down there and pick up me some eggs. I go get some tacos. I can go get some um, corn tortillas, some fruits. But, and this here is a provider. It's not a big fancy grand provider, but nonetheless, it is a provider. Uh, you know, like I said, be careful about, listen, I'm not against providers. I know I be talking trash, but the provider has to be in, in the right spot. Uh, like this provider, if, if you can walk right out of this provider and you have options, shops and stores right here, then this will work. So not all providers are necessarily bad. Providers are a bad idea, but like the providers and Places like Monte Bayo, everything is closed off. There's absolutely nothing around where you can go and shop and eat. Everything is closed off. Everything is surrounded by big walls. You can't see nothing. And but you know, this, this is different. You know what I mean? And again, it depends. If you can walk right out this entrance and 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 go get what you want, then that's ideal. So, but I'm always interested to see what these houses look like so we're about to go inside and see this is i thought this was two burner right but there is a basketball court i wonder they got a swimming pool i, I will compromise they got a pool in the community so this is thirteen thousand pesos these don't look too small now y'all look, don't be depressed by the building. That, that's the building we're going to see right there. Pull in behind them on this driveway. All right, let's go check it out. All right. This is the house we're going. Not that expensive to get one, right? What, about twenty thousand pesos, depending on. Right, so they're already looking depressing already. <laughs> After you little seen that other one, but it's nice. In fact, I think I got a family there. Where this might work for thirteen thousand pesos. Um, John, this might work for y'all. Uh, this is 13,000. Well, uh, tres recamadas, correcto? Okay. 
All right, this is the dining room. Let me go a little slower. Pan and trying to be conscious. Yep. Ceilings are very odd. Oh, ceilings are right at eight feet. Might be seven and a half. <sighs> Definitely more counter space. Yeah, I like. I'll, I'll take the first one for eighty five hundred pesos over this one. Let's see. So gas stove here, refrigerator here. This is a bathroom. One bathroom for all three rooms to share. But that's a big giant master bedroom. Yeah, she said the same thing. She'll take the first one <laughs> over this one. Although this is larger. Huh? Of course. So we got three bedrooms up here, full bath, and this is the master, which is absolutely big. Look at all that space. Okay, it do have their own bathroom. I'm about to say. No, it doesn't. Nah, this ain't gonna work. No bathroom. Three bedrooms sharing one bath. That would be a four girls up in this camp too. Hell no. Nah. But AC in bedroom one. I didn't notice the other ones. Let me check. Two air conditioning and three. She talking about it heavy. Don't even know how to spell heavy. Got a little balcony space. Ooh, I know that ain't no service room. Somebody be staying up in here, they be struggling. Service entrance. I don't know what kind of fruit trees these are. Limones. Lemon tree. Nah, this one ain't no. So I'm gonna see what I can work out on that fifty on that sixteen thousand. See if he has anything else with a pool. There's a La Tienda right outside the gate, right there on the corner. And here's that beauty salon, hair salon. He said the Tuberna Market is about four blocks down and to the left, which is nice. That's very, that's pretty close. That's the market where you can go get fresh meats and vegetables, fruits, etc. Don't have food. But that particular house, it has 13,000 pesos. Um, maybe it worked for some of y'all. All right, here's a couple of little stops. Not much out here, but they're in the area, right on the bus line, so the buses pass through here. Looks like a bunch of little providers out here. The school right there, Yucatan University. All right, so I have another one that I got to look at. 
It does have a pool in it, but it's a two bed. They got to advertise as a three bedroom, but it's a two bedroom, and they saying that third area is a study, which could be used as a room. Now, if if that has, um, it looked like in the pictures that might that has been used as a as a living room or a sala. But I, I, I want to look at it because if it does have a separate dining room and a separate living room and that study is a standalone room by itself, which might be able to be turned into a bedroom, that might work. And it's all on one level and it has a small pool in the back. I don't necessarily need a big giant pool, although I would like one. Uh, but the price is right on this one. Now, I think the price, you know what? I think the price, I think they act a 15 on that, and it's nowhere near the 600 meters that we saw. I know that much for sure. Now I'm going to be judging every. Now, that what happened when you go out in the country. You get a whole lot more house for your money. So that's something to be mild. I mean, think about it. That's 600 meters. Uh, square meters, I guess, is what they say. 600 square meters. Uh, what we just saw was 200 square meters. And just for 3,000 pesos more, you get a 400 square meters more space for the money. The first house we saw was 164 meters, I think he said. He corrected 160. me. 160 meters. And that was for 8,500 pesos. I believe we get them down to 7,500 pesos. But we both agree. Go, you had it. Go, go, go. They're like, man, pay God, no, my, man, then y'all be hesitating. That when y'all slip, the oh, light was yeah. still green. Oh, it looked confused. I'm looking for red. Yeah, look at them arrows, them green arrows. You stopping in the middle of the road. But anyhow, um, what was I saying? Yeah, we both agreed that that first house. We would take that one over this last house we just saw. That house was just depressing. And even though it was bigger than the first house, really I'd take i take that first house over that in a heartbeat in a heartbeat. And honestly, that first house still ain't looking too bad. It ain't off the table. Alright, we are Still in Chiburna. So we'll just let y'all see a little more of this area. Because it is a desirable and sought after area. Traffic light, the street called Avenida de Tecnologico. Some colleges all up and down this strip, university. So you see a lot of students out here going back and forth to school. All right, so we're down Avenida Tecnologico. Like I say, there's lots of universities and colleges down this strip. Uh, big commercial area. Lots of government offices down here. You come come down here and get your RPC number down here as well for your taxes and all that. Lots of commercial shopping. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say shopping. Well, yeah, maybe so. Some shopping. Um, wide streets, double lanes. This will run you also to the Colonial Compestre, Compestre, Compestre. Not to be confused with Compeche. And this is the Sam's Club over here on the right hand side. Like I say, a lot of shopping out here in this area off of that strip. Home Depot, Burger King, Bips. 
Chinese buffet over here that I frequent quite often. There's a seafood restaurant we're gonna pass. And this will take you into my neighborhood, Monte de, Monte de Alme. And further down this way, you, you are running the Cordemex, Cordemex. And which is across the street from Gal Galadius Plaza, which is the mall with the ice skating rink and Costco over there, quite a few hotels, Marriott Residency, Holiday Inn, uh, Fiesta Hotel out here as well. I got the, the, another agent that responded to a three o'clock appointment. It's confirming that we all go check that out. So I guess, hell, today maybe we just roll out for the whole day. I don't know how long this video may be. It might be two to three hours. Just keep watching, save it for later. Cause there's gonna be a lot of stuff. I think I might splice this up. I'm gonna put the whole thing up, but then I'm gonna splice pieces out of it create some shorts and some shorter clips as well. Oh, so we're back. I'll wait on this light to turn green. So I can take it forever. We often walk up to this OXO. Get that little seafood bar. Now I come here, I sneak out here and get me some tacos for pretty cheap. I can get me about three tacos and a soda. I walk out of there spending about $7. Seafood, that's all seafood we're right, right there. So some shrimp tacos, some fish tacos. We got, oh, look at that chair right there. That's what I'm saying. These shops out here, man, you got a little bit of everything out here. He got a table up in there. Nah, I don't want to go with that. This here is the office furniture store. They, if you're looking for some desks, they got some real nice deals. I can't see the name of it. But they have some really nice deals in there. They sell both new and used office furniture. Chairs, desks, tables, conference tables. A little bit of everything for office supply. So this is my street. And it don't look all that great. But, hey, they got some mansions all up and down my street. You know what I mean? So we're about to pull in, and then it cleans up a little bit, and then it gets a little rough a little bit. Here's my turn on the left. Booyah! And I'm home. And then I come out my driveway, get out my car, and then let me show you. Now, what I think you can't ever judge these neighborhoods. You just gotta go see. Then right when you across the street, got this little mini mansion. The lady got a whole staff of folk that work for her. And then you got this big old house. All right, so I'm gonna give you one of these nuances when you're dealing with these damn real estate agents, man. It just made me mad. So it's three o'clock. Um, we're supposed to meet the agent here at three o'clock. And so what happens at three o'clock? She sends me a text message saying, Oh, I'm still at work. I haven't been able to get away. Is it possible if maybe we can meet a little bit after four? Um, I'm hoping to be able to get out by four. I'm still at the office stuck. I ain't been able to get out. Now, she said that at three o'clock. She gave me the time to be here at three. And they did it the foolishness that I'm talking about. You know, cultural, I get you. Know, listen. I met some other folks from different parts of Mexico and they say it ain't like this in other parts of Mexico. And a lot of these folks agree. They backwards. Some of the things they do is just backwards out here. You know, call somebody at 3 o'clock when you gave me the time, three t different times, telling me to be on time and then you're behind. And so I told her, I sent the picture. I said, I'm already here. I've already arrived at the time that you suggested three times. Still ain't heard back from her. It's, it's been about 15 minutes now. Ain't heard back. Um, I got another appointment at 3.45. So, watch this car, motorcycle. Damn. Okay. Where are we going? 
Sorry, y'all. Just joking on damn near. Hit a man on a motorcycle. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to get it later to 325. I cut my other appointment 15 minutes away. Got to be there at 345. Just want to make it. And if she ain't here at 325 when I get ready to leave, I'm just going to let her come on. And, of course, she's going to send me a message talking about she here. And I'm just going to ignore her. You know, I let her and send her a message afterwards. Like, look, welcome to how I feel when you just have me sitting out here just wasting my dog on time like it ain't important. I've decided to go to another appointment. You know, you don't have the courtesy to communicate. I don't have the courtesy to communicate. It, it's just foolishness, man. Sometimes some folks just need to be told off and cussed out. But lucky I ain't, I ain't a cussing man. But, well, I am. But I ain't going to get in nobody's face cussing them out. It's ridiculous. All right, 263. This is this Cordy Max. Cordy Max. Uh huh. Cordy Max, but this is like a uh, like called because it's like a principal uh -huh. avenue. Uh, it's ampliación revolución. Revolución. Okay. This and this. Okay. Revolución, but this is Max. Oh, back there. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got a bunch of restaurants close by, um, literally right out the front door. You can shop near the mall, to the park. There's space, open space here. This used to be an Airbnb, so it comes furnished or it's less without the furnishings. Um, so you're going to get a price on what it would be without furnishings. Um, have a TV, also include Wi-Fi, internet, um, bedroom here, primary room. Well, not the primary, but two ceiling fans in here, air conditioner, um, blah, blah, blah. Windows, you will hear traffic coming out. Um, another angle of the living room slash dining room it's kind of cozy kind of small i can deal with the small um there's the bathroom here in the front which also has a shower so it's a full bath uh one more bedroom back here this is the one where i say have a study um that can be used as a bedroom here's a air conditioning this particular bedroom does have its own bath and here's a different angle concrete shelving I like how they did that that's actually nice um, ceiling fans and here's the study so when you walk out of this room I can say it goes off to the left here to the dining room living room television and you come back down this hallway and this is a study, which you could probably put something there to drape it off, to close it off. They got it decorated with some simple furnishings, which is really nice, actually. Very modern, modern look. Um, it's directly across from the other bedroom where those partitions will close. And so, like I say, you can hang something here to cover that up to have more privacy. And right outside, you have a dipping pool. And you can just, and each side has a little bench. You can see that little bench there. Really nice private oasis. And they have a separate entrance to it there as well. Let me take you there. All right, kitchen, kind of small, kind of tight. No oven. That's the thing, but they decorated it very nice. Let me see if I can open this door. I'll get you locked in. Ah, Lo Siento. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Gracias. 
So it has a separate entrance to this pool area. So you can walk off from that study. Um, it has a bench. Very nice. So it looks really nice, huh? All right, the agent finally did show up, uh, apologized and whatnot. So I didn't have an update, didn't get a chance to update because we Kim was running a mouth to the agent, and so it was about to be late for the other appointment. If I had to drive, I couldn't give you an update. Um, we're going to another house that we got scheduled for 345. That other place was actually nice. I actually like it. Um, so we're about to check this out. The other house we're going to look at, the green one here. Um, I can't remember the price. I think it's 13,000 pesos. But as you can see, it's on a super busy street. We got everything here. Make sure my mic is on. Uh, restaurants and pharmacies all up and down the street. Pharmacies directly across the street, up on the main street. And we're going to check it out. All right. So just came in through the gate. Uh, so this is all part of the property. Uh, they'll cut all that. Have a separate entrance for the driveway. You can drive up into here. And it's actually pretty manicured. It's kind of loud out here. But we'll see what it sounds like when we get inside. Hopefully they have those regular windows. Uh, coming in through the back. Look at this big old giant grill. Now they joking on how to grill. Have a swimming pool. Okay, this is man, this is all I'm looking for. About three feet. Just kind of hang out, dip in there, get wet, cool off, etc. Uh it's covered up here for you put your laundry plug-ins out here. A couple of omics hooks. Omicus. This is actually pretty nice, at least from the outside. I haven't been inside yet. So like I say, you have your separate entrance to pull your car in and just walk up the sidewalk. La Sala. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Look at that. So many houses. Yeah. <laughs> so we can remember what we what we saw. So no clima planta baja. No. Okay. Okay. All right, so refrigerator included. So we'll need to buy a stove here. Oh, I already told you where we were. Wait. Uh -huh. And they're going to change the Refrigerator okay. because there's the place to the refrigerator. Ah, okay. And, uh, replace it uh -huh. and, and install that stove. And install, okay. So the stove in the stove will be included. Yes. Okay. Awesome. 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 All right. And so this is off the back with a pool, and that is a nice grill. All right. This is this is nice. It's cute. One of the best. Um, this one down here. This is a bedroom. This could be the boardroom or uh, study. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, that could. It could be an office of study. Yeah. And it's breezy in here, so it's kind of com it's comfortable. With that. Let me squeeze through. Oh yeah, I saw that. We got a bathroom down here. What do you think, Haley? I like the four bedrooms. Four bedrooms, okay. All right, Klima here. We'll start using some Spanish words. We got to learn Klima. That's what they call it. I mean, it's also air conditioner, but Klima is much simpler to say. The three bedrooms upstairs and that study downstairs could be a fourth bedroom. Uh, I got a full bath here. Mm -hmm. All right, clean my here. 
I like which one you like. Hmm? Which room you like? Yes. The main. The main. Okay. Ah, oh, this is big. Okay. Very spacious. Ah, oh, that uh balcony back home. Okay. Balcon. There is a mosquito. Okay. Ah, uh, net. There, there are for the windows. Okay. Put them up. Uh huh. Paint. Ah. Uh, replace them back. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I like that balcony. Put some chairs out there. Just sit down and. Hang out. See the pool from here. There's another. Oh, come on. Okay. Principal bath. AC. Yep. Okay. And this is Trace Trace Mill. Yeah, and the price is due to the internet. In the internet. Okay. I like, I like, I like. What do you think, Haley? I think this could work. Location is perfect. Great location. Um, I hate that they don't have a client, uh, air conditioning down here, which, which we don't have one now anyway. All right, so I think uh, that was a very nice house wasn't bad not at all for the price and location because everything is on this strip the only thing that i'm concerned about is the noise uh the traffic um you, you, you get the car drive by you hear the noise which i can get over that um the, them dogs that we had over our neighborhood, I didn't think I would ever get used to hearing them now. I don't even think they exist. Uh, but I know they're there. I'm, I'm, I, every time I think they don't move, I'm like, them dogs must have moved. The owners must have moved. And the kid's like, oh, no, they didn't. And, you know, you got to tell me that they're barking because now I, I done tuned them out. My brain had tuned them out so much. So, Thinking of traffic to do the same. Only issue that's the my only concern, primarily because we do a lot of video. Um, that space upstairs in that bedroom is massive. I like that. So that's a huge plus. But beyond that, they have the pool in the back and the traffic, you know, the location, everything is up and down this street. In fact, let's take a look. Didn't handle Kim driving, so I'm driving and recording. Shut up. She done almost hit a man on a motorcycle. No, he wasn't watching. Now nah, look at all this traffic. Going. Nah, he, 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 was he it, it, Yeah, okay. You should watch where he going. Um. <laughs> so I'm just better off with one hand. <laughs> but look at all this stuff we got down here. This on the street, right down from this house. Restaurants, man, we just passed five of them. You just ain't paying attention. Just like you ain't see that man on a motorcycle, you ain't seeing no restaurant either. All right, there were the, the trumples right up the street, right in front of us. Well, that ain't that but, uh, one. but again, we just passed five. Uh, pay attention. But location wise, everything, I'm trying to see what this neighborhood this is. I've been down here, but not down here looking for any properties or anything like that. Um, I think this might, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait on this light to turn. So, yep, see, here's a restaurant right here, push me in the third gear. La, La Gio, La Io, that's a good restaurant we just passed. Um, Barbacoa. Oh, I know where we at. Where are we? I, mean, I don't know the name of the town, but I know where we at. We did some chicken on the side building a couple of weeks ago. More restaurants over here. So all of this is right down the street, walking distance. Arbor Gym from that house that we did pass. Put me in Fort Gill. Fort Gill. 
Lobbing area, cake shop right here. So super hockey. Yeah, this is where the mom with the four kids live down the street. She live right down the road. So yeah, location wise, perfect. Can't get better than that. Um, plus there's more options on the other side. So in fact, I think I'm gonna turn around just to go see what's on the other side. <laughs>